Let's get into it with Alex Barinka. And Alex, we understand, according to people familiar, that Shochu was indeed looking to target senators in particular. He was. Um, I, I think the, the TikTok team saw this bill potentially flying through the House like it did today, uh, getting that majority vote in just the past few minutes. Uh, the next hurdle for them will be the Senate. Majority Leader uh, Chuck Schumer in the Senate has so far not said that he would take up this bill. Uh, TikTok also put out a statement today appealing to senators saying, quote, this process was secret and the bill was jammed through for one reason. It's a ban. We are hopeful that the Senate will consider the facts, listen to their constituents, and realize the impact on the economy. So certainly TikTok CEO Sho Chu, who was down in D.C., is going to be spending his time uh, in the Senate, hoping that while this is the furthest a uh, anti-TikTok bill has gone in the U.S. government, that uh, it ends here. It's not just that Chuck Schumer has not endorsed the bill. It's that there is a bigger concern here as well. And Bloomberg's reporting this idea that even on the Republican side of the aisle, they look at this bill more big picture. Why do we hand these powers to the administration and give them such sort of a blanket power for censorship to, to make a decision on TikTok? So that's there in the background. But I think I'm right in saying, Alex, TikTok's always said that it's going to mount a legal challenge to the idea that it would have to divest or sell its US operations anyway. Yeah, you're right. Um, I think it was summed up pretty succinctly to our, our D.C. colleagues by Republican Senator Tom Tillis out of North Carolina, who said yesterday that he's worried about the unintended consequences of a bill like this. Now, it's been fascinating, Ed, to kind of watch the battle with TikTok in, D in D.C. because Republicans writ large have been some of the biggest agitators against TikTok. Some of that did change in the past week when we had Donald Trump himself, uh, when he was the president who put the first executive full order order forward to ban TikTok actually come out and say a few days ago, well, maybe we shouldn't do that because it would give Meta too much power. So certainly we have some wrangling here, not over, not only over whether or not uh, this bill actually addresses concerns or if national security concerns have actually been made clear to the lawmakers, but also how much power this would give the government, this would give the, the uh, executive branch in kind of ruling over the private sector.